What is going on YouTube? It is Luke here with Lifestyle Off-Road and I know that I haven't really made much lately but it's been the summer, been busy, uh, kids been at home so I'm finally getting back to making some content but in the meantime we have officially hit just over two years of ownership. Um, our 21 Bronco has 46, 49,625 miles on it. So call it about 50,000 miles in two years. And I just wanted to give you a recap of what it's been like owning this for two years. Have I had any issues? The good, the bad, the ugly, that kind of thing. So let's dive right in. First off, 2021 Bronco, 2.7 liter twin turbo. V6, it is the automatic, it is a black diamond, and it did come with the Sasquatch package. I do have the soft top. Um, right now it is in full blown safari mode. I don't have the rear windows in. And we'll just do a quick walk around. Kind of go over quick what I've done to this thing. Um, yeah, so if you're not familiar with it, I do have the Ford Performance Speed Locks. I do have uh, 35 inch Yokohama Geolander XATs, 35, 12, 50, 17 is the size. Um, I have the Lifestyle Off Road Rock Sliders on it now. These are DOM tubing. They have the kick out for the rear tire. They also stick out far enough that they are a functional step. I have all sorts of little goodies added on. I know it's dirty. I have these pockets from Amazon. Um, sill protectors. I have this little center console um, added pocket. I have added a full stereo system. It's a got a kicker 8 inch sub in the back which we'll get to. I have a kicker key amp hidden up in here for all the speakers. Um, these are actually Polk audio. Every other speaker is a kicker um, including the 4 inch pods. But I also am running a Zone 2 inch lift, which you can't really see, um, which is also what I like about it, but that is in there. So there's a 2 inch lift on this. I do have the tie rod braces. I do have upgraded steering parts for the uh, steering rack as well. I have never had a steering failure, and I've been off road from anywhere from Moab to the Midwest, Tennessee. I've done a fair amount of four-wheeling and the only thing I've had is the ball up here on the tie rod. I had one of those wear out. So I had to replace a tie rod at about 30,000 miles, but to me that was just normal wear and tear. It wasn't anything extreme. Going under the truck quick, it's gonna be hard to see. But I do have the full Lifestyle Off-Road skid plates. And then I also have Lifestyle Off-Road front and rear bumpers with the Smitty built 9.5 thousand pound winch, synthetic rope. Um, yeah, which obviously I'm biased. That's my company. But I love my bumpers. I love my skid plates, sliders, so on and so forth. Under the hood. So again, 2.7 liter twin turbo. I do have the full k and intake. Um, I also have the k and charge pipe. And I also have the JB4 tuner with apparently a dead bug on it. But um, then on top of that, other than that, it's all stock under here. Other than that, I do have the CPE intercooler, which it fits with our bumper which is awesome this thing is hefty that is a very thick well-made intercooler um, we have the lace fit light up on the bumper and amber we have aux beam lights up on the pillars for the ditch lights i do have lifestyle off-road wrap i do have it's a little messy in here my gmrs radio i just have this midland handheld uh, it works great and then that is on the mountains to metal center console um moly panel so in the back nothing to really see back here i do have the 
added cup holders from Amazon. Those are a video I did a while ago. Um, what else? Lifestyle for rear bumper with aux beam flush, flush mount. Oracle flush mount tail lights. I absolutely love these. I think it gives it a really nice look and those reverse lights are insanely bright. Um, Lifestyle off-road one-off tailgate table. This is not something we ever put into production because as soon as we got it perfected, the market got flooded with them. So we've never come out with more of those. But we do have the knockoff ARB air compressor attached to that. And this is wired up to one of my aux switches, which this is a great add-on. Um, I was a huge power tank fan for many, many, many years. I actually own two power tanks. And I bought that, sold both power tanks, and I haven't looked back. Having on-demand air at that much pressure is fantastic. So, highly recommend that. One of my favorite things I've done. Um, so here you can see I have the kicker 8-inch sub added. This isn't a factory sub box. I'm working on a whole video for my audio alone, but it's just taking some time. I have the rubber seat back covers that are falling off it looks like um yeah i have these they're supposed to go up there but i keep taking the top off and on so i just put my tool bag that needs zipped up down here for now um and then under here i've just got storage spare parts tie rods um the passenger side of the steering box this is the factory one more tie rods winch controller light that kind of stuff so overall that is a quick recap of everything i've done to this over two years um and my impressions of the vehicle are it's fantastic i still love everything about it i don't have any complaints so if you're coming to this video looking for something bad I really only have two things that kind of suck. Uh, other than that, it drives great. If I take it easy and I go below like 75 miles an hour and I'm cruising, I can manage to still get around 18 miles to the gallon. That is fantastic. It has tons of power. It's fun to drive. I can tow my boat. I know a lot of people think the tow rating is low at 3,500 pounds but this has a linked coilover rear suspension. This was not made to tow a double axle trailer. It's just, this is a fun off-road comfortable vehicle to drive. Um, so for me, it's perfect. I've got two kids obviously by the car seats. We can take it on long road trips. We throw the dog in the back. He's comfortable because I can pop all the windows out. I also have these roll bar protectors. These are a must have in my opinion as well. Um, but I have no real complaints. I have had no problems mechanically. It drives great. Transmission shifts fine. The engine runs fine. I do change the engine oil around 6,000 miles with AMS oil. I also changed the spark plugs at 40,000 miles with forced induction motors like the EcoBoost. It is highly recommended to change the spark plugs every 30 to 40,000 miles to make sure you are getting complete combustion from the ignition. So I do recommend that. It is very cheap to do. Um, other than that, this thing's great. If you want to buy a Bronco, buy a Bronco. You are going to love it. Um, what do I have to complain about? Two little things and that's it the interior i've heard a lot of people say that it scratches a lot but again this isn't clean um i have an 80 pound golden retriever that's often in here and overall i still think it looks pretty dang good none of this material seems to scratch or anything um, this definitely doesn't it all has been very durable with two exceptions for some reason right here you can see the paint is all coming off of this handle that just to me seems kind of weird um because it's not i don't put anything in here it just the paint is coming off 
So these will get taken off and I'll probably just paint them black. And the other thing is my beloved marine grade vinyl seats have developed one small crack. Um, now, you can see as I get in, this is right at the point where it flexes out. Um, so this is a pretty big bummer. I love these seats, would buy them again. I think what I'm going to end up doing, because I'm not in the bumper to bumper warranty anymore, I'm going to look to see if I can actually just buy a new marine grade vinyl seat cover from Ford, should be able to. But just so that I have it. Um, we're coming up on being able to pre-order 2024 and I'd hate for the stitching or something to change and I can't get a matching seat cushion. So what I'm going to do for now though is I'm going to try and order it and then I'm just going to take some clear silicone and just try and get it in there and flatten it out just so it tries to help so it doesn't spread any further and then I'll save the other seat cushion or the seat cover for a rainy day when I have some time to be able to put that on. Um, but I'll continue to wear this one out. I find these seats to be incredibly comfortable. I find them to be not too hot. Um, my wife has a 21 or 20 Expedition that has leather and that the heated seats don't seem to get as hot as these. So that is something that I found interesting. These seem to get warmer in the winter and keep the heat. But overall, that's my quick recap um, of my 2024.